In honor of Black History Month, we've asked some of our students, faculty, and staff to share their thoughts on black history. Their stories reflect the rich tapestry of experiences and perspectives at Maritime College. I hope these stories help all of us to rededicate ourselves to create a fully inclusive climate where all voices and perspectives are heard and valued. You know, a lot of people question why is there a Black History Month? Why, why is the special time set aside specifically for black history? And what about the rest of the history? And I think we need to first look at what are the, the roots or the background of the problem. And what we're trying to address or the, the, the issues of concern are things like prejudice and bias and racism. And those things exist in society um, because of underlying causes. That, that's the manifestation of the problem, but there are underlying causes and it's, they're deeply rooted in fear and ignorance and insecurity. So the, the, why we have a Black History Month is primary, primarily to educate. We want to raise awareness and to address the foundations of, of the ignorance. And, and so that's, that's one of the, the, I think, primary purposes of having a Black History Month. Black history is important because it gives us the opportunity to engage in our history as it gives context to the, the present. Um, it, is in, it, it is a time to celebrate, reflect, and rejoice the many contributions and achievements of African Americans to the economic growth and de development of the United States as a nation. I think Black History Month is extremely important. Um, knowing the past opened the doors for the future. Um, I think one has to understand and appreciate uh, the many contributions um, black Americans have made um, for this country. Um, I think it's an opportunity um, to learn, gain understanding, and also appreciate the past and appreciate those that have paved the way for so many. And gaining that understanding could also lead to more empathy. By highlighting the variety of achievements that have been made by people of color, that it um, provides role models. Well, I had a grandmother who attended Hunter College and was a teacher. I had another grandmother who, who taught sewing in New York City public schools. Um, and my mother was a teacher. And so um, I have many role models and, and I, I have a good sense of self-esteem. But I can imagine that if, there, if a person did not have that kind of background and those role models, um, living in this current society, you might have a very damaged sense of self-esteem. And so, again, Black History Month makes us more aware of people who have achieved first. There's so much history out there, uh, documented, undocumented, and just uh, it gives a chance to showcase uh, history of uh, people from the um, uh, African diaspora, you know? So it, we need that so people can bring attention to it. It is also important that we know about our black history, but it is also important that we remember that the fight is not over. We must continue to uh, uni unify and unite so that we can preserve our history and heritage. When I think about black history, um, sometimes and its reflections, or at least what, uh, what I'm taught sometimes, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed only because um, I think black history is so vast and, and there are so many parts to it that aren't necessarily easily understood. And as a result, I wish that um, there would be more commemoration to people who aren't necessarily uh, talked about or people who aren't necessarily well known um, and leaders who aren't um, you know, at the forefront of history or what has been perpetuated in that. I think that if more was spoken about about those who, whose names aren't broadcasted or who, whose names weren't necessarily mentioned um, as much as others, um, I think 
you know, I think it would definitely be a nicer to, to see something like that. I look at black history as a part of American history, and it should be that all Americans should want to, to learn, to study, to see all the achievements, and also to celebrate it. There are so many facets that um, Africans, uh, people of African descent have touched on. Um, people of African descent are history makers. And sometimes some of those stories are lost and they need to be uh, showcased. Again, Black History Month. So then, then when you look at some of those stories and some of those um, doctrines or whatever that may be, all you can say is, wow, this is a, a proud culture of people. And they continue to uh, demonstrate through and through as time goes on. As I think about it, um, especially this year and the year we had um, outside of COVID, um, when you think of the many protest. Um, it's been a turbulent year, um, civil unrest, um, social injustice. Um, I just find that this year's Black History Month has so much more meaning and significance and that, um, you know, I think more, um, it's one month. Um, I hope that it's not forgotten the other 11 months, um, but that's with any heritage month. Um, but it's significant and I think um, it needs to be spoken more, it needs to be taught more, it needs to be in textbook. Um, it's somewhat an untold story, um, but I think the more we learn, the more we can appreciate um, the contributions and achievements of many black Americans. What we have is um, an education system where we spend in, let's say you took a world history class in middle school, you'd spend a month talking about um, Asian history and the contributions of the Chinese and the Japanese, and you'd spend several months talking about European history and all of the, you know, tracing, uh, you know, from the Vikings through through um, uh, the, the, the king of Versailles. But how much in that world history class do we actually get to talk about um, African history? Maybe a week. And, and that has implications for, for um, developing stereotypes or, or, or not addressing some of the stereotypes that are out there. Uh, one person that I would like to meet, uh, past or present, would be present. And I think it would be Barack Obama. If I had the opportunity to meet um, any um, African-American person of my choice, it, it would have to be President Barack Obama. Since sports is, <laughs> plays such a big role in my life, um, I would say Muhammad Ali. I would say Jesse Williams. He's, the, um, he's well known in Grey's Anatomy as Dr. Avery. He is a humanitarian and an activist and he uses his platform to highlight social injustice and social and racial injustice and I respect him for that. I'd want to meet uh, Nikki Giovanni and James Baldwin because they their mindsets came from two different eras within American history um, and thus within black history, black American history. Um, and I think most importantly because in that time, they were discussing issues uh, that, although present at that time, are still relevant to now. Um, and thus to get their insight from the, the, the sociological implications of black people within that time as well as now uh, would definitely have been very interesting or would be interesting if I had the chance to meet them. So I think asking them their advice and understanding their knowledge of um, the black community at that point as well as the black community within American society um, and their their understandings of that now would be really interesting and that's why I would want to uh, I'd want to meet them. Michelle Obama, I look at her as a role model for women and again she was our first African American first lady in the United States of America and she she's such a classy woman. Uh, she was a lawyer, a writer, and uh, she was an advocate. If you ask me what was what was, would be one word I use to describe Black History, I would I know in Black History Month, it would be to say that there's it's been ignored. I would describe Black History with one word, and that word would be proud. 
I would describe black history in one word as progressive. In one word, I would describe black history as ongoing. I would describe Black History Month in one word as proud. I would describe black history in one word as amazing. <laughs>